Hello everyone, welcome back. And um, to the new members, welcome. Thank you for joining and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some drawings in a sketchbook. Um, I got the reference photos from Unsplash and I'll have them up on the screen. But if you want the link, I'll have the link um, to it, you know, the Unsplash link in the description box. So here's the first photo. And I first started off with gouache. Um, that's my first layer is gouache paint. And I'm working in a sketchbook that I got from Five Below. And it's a watercolor sketchbook and the pages are really really smooth they're not cold pressed you know I think they're hot pressed but I mean being that I got them at five below I'm not really sure but the the paper is really smooth it's an eight by eight um, um, that's the size is eight by eight so um, that's the the sketchbook and the gouache that I'm using is a mixture of Holbein gouache in that palette and Windsor and Newton. Um, I just threw them both in there. Um, so yeah, and the brush that I'm using is is a round brush, typical round brush. It's a Princeton, one of those velvet touch feels good to hold like it has like a velvety um handle right there I'm not I forget what you call that paint handle but you know what I'm talking about um yeah so this is the reference and I think it's really pretty and um one of the things that I learned um in my art journey and I'm really just it's really sinking in is that I don't have to make my drawing look exactly like the reference. And uh, at first I was so caught up in basically trying to make my drawing look like the reference. And then that was really holding me back and I just felt like stifled. And I realized that I just needed to do me you know what I'm saying and break out of that box I mean I'm not a realistic artist at all so I don't understand why I was even so you know not obsessed but I would only focus on trying to make it look realistic so obviously I was failing so um yeah, so I just recently just really embraced that and it I can tell the improvement in my art making now. So I'm really happy about that. And um getting some titanium white. Um you can't see over there to the right. Um I have the picture over the palette. But I'm mixing a blue, um, I believe it's a ultramarine blue, and the titanium white. And just um, putting down the sky a little bit. So anyway, um, yeah, you don't have to, using when you're using a reference, you don't have to, your drawing doesn't have to look exactly like the reference. That's why it's called a reference, right? Because we're only using it as a guide. Um, I like to use it for composition and color. I'm choosing colors because I'm not that good at choosing colors that are, um, you know, harmonious and that look good together. I always, everything I do, well, mostly, I, I always go for bold colors because I'm always thinking bold, bright colors. And sometimes a piece doesn't really call for that. You know, like this is a tranquil 
piece. Um, there's a body of water. You know, there are two birds, ducks there. Um, just floating around and it looks a like a really calm and serene place, right? Except for if you look closely, the house is empty. Like the, the windows are blown out. There's not even windows. Um, but it looks like a calm place. Um, it's, you know, landscapey. So I just decided like hey you know what i'm gonna do me and i'm just gonna draw the way i draw and interpret things the way that i interpret them the way i want to interpret them and that aha moment for me was so freeing um and it, it allowed me to just relax and draw and do the damn thing you know so after the layer of gouache, I'm going in with um, pencils and I'm using um, Karen Dosh Luminance pencils there. Um, and that one, that pencil in particular is one of my favorites. It's called French Gray and it's just an all around good pencil when you want to shade in or you you want something dark but you don't want it to be black you know what I mean it's it's a really good um pencil for that and we all know the luminance pencils they're so soft and feel so good um when you're drawing with them so I'm putting details on the house and um, by the way, there's going to be another reference photo after this. We're, we'll be doing um, two reference photos. And if you want to draw along, the whole point of this video is for you to draw along with me. Look at the reference photo. Or if you're not feeling it, just pull, pull up your own reference photo or whatever. And just, you know, draw along with me and uh, listen to this little chat. So I'm adding details to the trees. Um, I laid down the shapes, color, and now I'm adding my touch, my way of making leaves and trees and vegetation. Um, you know, I like a lot of mark making and I like, I love to scribble, I love to make marks, so the the pencil layer is actually my favorite part so anyway um i'm going to leave you guys here and allow you to watch um the rest of the video in peace <laughs> and listen to some music all right i'll see you guys i'll actually come back in at the end all right, guys, later.
guys this is the final drawing there and there's the spread i hope you guys had as much fun as i did and as always thank you for watching and please hit that subscribe button bye